Hey everyone, and welcome back. Now so far in this series, you know, Gunpla for Beginners, we have gone over nub removal, got the kit all snapped together, and then we've gone over seam line removal. Now today we're going to get some of these details on this kit, the finer ones, did looking nice. So let's get into it. Alright, now to start things off, we'll go over some of the stuff we'll be using. Now here I have three of these. These are Gundam uh, panel lining markers. And they are fine tipped. So they're great for kind of getting to the little panel lines and everything on these. And these come in very handy. Now, here this is a gray, a black, and I have a brown here. The brown is great for uh, reds and yellows and colors of that such, you know, the oranges and things. But there isn't any of that on this kit, so we won't be using it today. Now for the lighter blues, I'll be using the gray here, which is typically used like for whites, lighter blues, and things of that. And then for this darker navy blue, we'll be using the black panel line marker. Now there are multiple ways of doing this, and I'm sure if you've watched any other videos, you have seen these before. Now these are great, they're basically enamel paint, and they're thinned down quite a bit, and that's so they can run through the seam lines and everything, just take the little brush applicators, dab it on there wherever you need to, and then clean it up afterwards. Now doing a bare kit like this, there is a bit of a problem. Enamel paints can have a tendency to kind of weaken the plastic and cause it to become brittle over time. So if you want to use something like this, that is going to be used on your own risk, on a bare plastic kit. Now if you do want to use these, your best bet, if you're not fully painting, is you can get a can of uh, gloss clear coat. And clear coat your parts, which will give it the protection it needs to keep these from making it brittle and your plastic messing up or anything. And then you'll just go about cleaning that up and all that. Now using these, we're also going to be needing a simple vinyl eraser, something like this. Got this at the dollar store for pretty much nothing. We'll be using this for cleanup. And there is another way you can do cleanup on when you're using these uh, panel line markers. And it's my preferred way. It's just an old habit for me. Plus I paint, so I use it this. I do this manner quite a bit. But when it's just these little simple markers, we'll be using some Q-tips and some simple isopropic alcohol. Now I will say if you paint your kits and then, or if you clear coat and use the uh, to me a panel lining accent. Don't use isopropyl alcohol because it can rub off the clear coat and if you have paint and then clear coat It can also rub through and get take the paint off that way I found that out the hard way of one of my first painting kits because this is how I was used to cleaning up my panel lining So I learned that if you're doing that Using these Use some enamel thinner and of course you're still going to use gloss clear coat over the kit Enamel thinner and things like that. That is if you have painted and you know the all the ugh. Learn how I spoke huh, somewhere Yeah, you'll use the enamel thinner to clean up on the uh, Tamiya stuff But today since it's just these simple markers, I'll be doing the alcohol cotton buds and the eraser and Let's get into it. And this is gonna be pretty simple actually not very hard So let's have some fun with this and get this guy looking good. All right, as you can see here, I got you know one of the arms, and one of the legs here, and we'll do a little work on these, and we'll start with doing the shoulder armor here. This is a lighter color. I will be using the gray marker, and really, all in all, it's very simple. You just basically trace out the lines. Just kind of work your way around, and you can do as much of the the panel lines and details, and as little. It's just all up to you. What you prefer, what you think will look good. It's your build. Have fun with it. Another great thing about these little deals here, using these markers, are such easy cleanup, really. Which, like, you know, you slip and get all over the place up here. That's no big deal. They'll come right off here in a moment when we get ready to do a little bit of cleanup. Let me get some of this all lined out here. And we'll get it all. Then we'll move to cleanup. Alright, now as you see here, kind of got set up some of the main details you can kind of see on the armor here. And I was a little messy with some of it on purpose, so you can see kind of the cleanup. A few plots where I actually kind of slipped a little bit, and little indentations on the armor that you usually see. You just kind of scribble in there real quick. So, we'll first do this with the eraser here. Get this sucker opened up. 
Now really you don't have to worry about holding this big whole thing if you don't want to, so me usually I'll kind of just cut a nice little chunk off like so. There we go. A little easier to handle than that big old piece there. And really it's pretty simple and straightforward, like right there on the top where I purposely scribbled on there. Easy enough, he races right off of there. And the rest of these kind of go around, use the corners if you need to to kind of get in some areas. And basically just kind of erase off everything that you've written down like into the indented areas, the actual uh, panel lines and everything will stay down in there for the most part. Sometimes you can actually, in the corner of the eraser or something like that might actually kind of get down in there. And you might have to go back with your marker if it's been cleaned off a little more than you're liking, which not a big deal, just same process as before. Just get the marker out, draw it in, and then take your eraser to it. I mean, for the foot, most part, you can see you kind of cleaned it up. You see that nice bit of detail, everything kind of standing out. Needs a little more cleanup, of course. I'm just doing a quick tutorial here. But now we'll move and do a little bit of panel lining on the leg there, and I'll use the isopropic alcohol and some cotton swabs to clean it up, and that's how I typically like to do it. All right, got the majority of the leg here hit up pretty quick. So now we'll do the alcohol and stuff. So usually I'll do something like this while I keep around. Any little vessel would work. Put a bit of alcohol in there and don't have to fill it up, of course. Just enough to dip your cotton bud in here. And usually, I'll just kind of keep a paper towel here. Soak the cotton pretty good and just kind of dab it on paper towel just a little bit. And then you'll just kind of go over. Just brush and brush against the uh, panel lines. Don't brush with, because then usually you'll end up kind of going down that line taking out more than you really want to let's kind of get off in there here and there oh, i didn't even go down that line at all i've missed that one completely that's all right get it here after a while just lightly go over all the parts and i like it this way because it's a little bit cleaner i don't have the eraser shavings everywhere and just making a mess in that sense and it kind of cleans your part up for you, which is nice. All right, so in the end, panel lining really isn't all that hard. You just take your time, especially when you're using the little Gundam markers, which you can find at just about any hobby shop that sells any Gunpla kits. And of course, I'm, you can find them on eBay and Amazon, places of that such. And just take your time. I mean, it's very simple. It brings out a whole lot of detail to your kits. As you see here, I've kind of only done half of them and then let the other half alone for the moment so you don't kind of get see the comp comparison between the two. But that's really the, probably the easiest video that there is on this soap process so far. Whichever way you prefer to clean up your kits with the Q-tips or with an eraser, both work just as well. It depends on your preference and what's easier accessible to you and have on hand on a regular basis. Like I said, these markers, they're like three bucks, maybe four bucks, so they're easy to come by. Now in the next video, we're going to be going over the decals, and of course we have the ones that come with the kit itself, these little sticker type, which I will put a few of these on for demonstration, but honestly, I don't like these. I have a set of water slides that came in the mail that we're going to be using on this kit. So it'll make a big difference on these. And water slides really are not that hard. I was nervous the first time I ever done them. And once you get into it, it is a bit tedious. It is time consuming. But in the end, the product will be so worth it. And really, it's not that hard in the end. So this will be our next video. And until then, guys, I'll see you later.